Hello, this is Rosie Amador, a voiceover artist and proud Women on Fire member. For the July 2017 membership package, Women on Fire founder Debbie Phillips offers us a roadmap for a journey to good health. As our tour guide, Debbie talks with Phoebe Lapine, a food writer, chef, culinary instructor, blogger, and author. She is also Women on Fire member number 99. Phoebe recently took on her own challenge to spend a year finding ways to improve her health while still enjoying herself. She chronicled her adventure in an inspiring new book called The Wellness Project, How I Learned to Do Right by My Body Without Giving Up My Life. In her conversation with Debbie, Phoebe talks about how she examined key aspects of her life, including sleep, sex, drinking, beauty products, her period, and her gut. Of course, food plays a big role, too. Let's listen in as Phoebe talks about her kitchen fairy godmother, the Food Network superstar who helped to launch her love of cooking and feeding others. So before we dive into talking about your book, which I'm so excited about, you're a private chef. I've had the great fortune to eat your yummy food. And oh. I, yeah, and I'm just wondering, where did your love of cooking and feeding others, where did that come from? So it started really young, I think partially because my mother was a wonderful cook and made a lot of homemade meals and like literally straight from the womb was feeding me her cooking. <laughs> she would always tell me that she was not a fan of baby food and would just like get whatever from the restaurant to go and put it in a blender when she got home. <sighs> so she would like put veal scallopini in a blender <laughs> and feed it to me. <laughs> so let's have started there. And um, one of actually my big inspirations, who I call my kitchen fairy godmother is Ina Garden, who I've known <laughs> since I was very young. And yeah, very blessed to, to have had her in my life since before she was even in the food world. And I have some very vivid memories from growing up and, and cooking side by side with her. Well, everybody who's listening was just blown away. So could you tell us one great memory with Ina? And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you tell us what she's like in real life. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, she's, she's exactly who you see on television in real life. She's just the warmest, most genuine person. Um, she couldn't be fake if she tried. She's just incredibly authentic and, and warm. Um, but yes, so I think this is probably right soon after she purchased her specialty food shop in East Hampton called the Barefoot Contessa, but she came to our house in Westchester and helped make this really beautiful meal for my father's 50th birthday. And I can remember the menu like it was yesterday. Oh. We made these very classic Ina um, tea sandwiches with, sam with smoked salmon and like a very high herb butter to salmon and bread ratio. <laughs> <laughs> they were delicious. And we made a German chocolate cake for dessert because that's his favorite. And I actually don't remember the main course because I didn't make it with her, but I do remember she also brought a large tin of caviar and potato chips. <laughs> and that was my first time having caviar. And I mean, ever since, I was just, you know, why would you have it if you can't eat it with potato chips? <laughs> to hear the rest of this interview, join the Women on Fire monthly membership today. You will become part of what New York Times bestselling author Marianne Williamson calls the ultimate You Go Girl community for inspiration and support. You have only a few more days to receive the full interview with Phoebe Lapine, your personalized coaching materials, access to the Women on Fire private Facebook page, and much, much more. Join us today at womenonfire.com membership. We can't wait to meet you.